Assalamualaikum and a very good uh, evening. Uh, today I'm going to do a comparison video on three Garmin Phoenix smartwatches which I owned, I've owned uh, currently and have I've owned before. The first one on the left hand side is the Garmin Phoenix 3 HR, which I bought in 2016. All right. The next one in the middle is Garmin Phoenix. Five. Uh, Garmin Phoenix Five. It also has a Sapphire uh, screen, just like the Phoenix Two HR. Uh, this one I bought in twenty eighteen. It was introduced one year earlier in twenty seventeen, and the last one here is the latest model currently available on the market, which is Phoenix Six, which I bought only last week. Uh, this model was introduced uh, two years ago in August 2019. It replaces the Phoenix Plus series, which is one model uh, ahead of this one, later than this one. Okay, let's go through one by one. Okay, the first model, as you can see here, is the Phoenix 3 HR. This is the, the first model under Garmin's Phoenix series which has a, a wrist-based heart rate monitor attached to the back of the watch itself where you can measure your heart rate directly on your wrist okay previously in 2015 uh, the, the phoenix series uh, needs to have a chest strap heart rate uh, in order for you to measure your uh, heartbeat when you are doing your sport eh? like running uh, uh, hiking, whatever. All right. Okay. As you can see here, uh, the, the size differences between the three models. Uh, let's go to the first model here. The first model uh, introduced in 2016 uh, uh, has an initial price of about uh, 600 US dollars. Uh, in Malaysia, it costs about uh, 2,650 ringgit when it was first uh, marketed in April, okay? I bought this one slightly lower at 2517, I think, okay? Uh, this is the, 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 the upgrade to the third generation 3 series, uh, 3 series, okay? Previously, Gamma introduced the Phoenix 1 in 2012 and the Phoenix 2 in 2014, okay? So when I bought this, this is the flagship model at that time. It has a uh, Sapphire, Sapphire screen, uh, glass here, very strong, and the battery life um, uh, can last for about two weeks. Uh, you compare to other models like uh, Samsung watch, I can't remember which particular variant, Samsung 3 I think, the battery lasts about three to four days, and of course you have the Apple watch, which lasts probably one to two days. So this is quite um, a big jump, a big advantage, uh, which government has, uh, where the smartwatch can last up to Two weeks, uh, 14 days of battery life. It's very good. You can see here, uh, it's a bit uh, bulky for uh, because it was the first watch that has the uh, heart rate monitor. Is for your for my wrist, it looks a bit uh, big. You know, this the the size is 51 inches, and the screen is 1.2 inches. Okay, that's the Phoenix 3 HR. All right. Uh, the next model in the middle, which I purchased in 2018. One year after it was introduced in 2017 is the Phoenix 5 series. And this is Phoenix size Sapphire. It also has a Sapphire screen, very strong, very scratch resistant and can last. You can see here after I've wear it, I've worn it for I think three years plus. There's not even a single scratch on the on the screen. Very good. The form factor is a bit smaller than uh, the Phoenix 3 HR. This is 51 and this is 47 inch across, quite small. And it's a bit thinner. All right, it has uh, when Garmin introduced this, they have this uh, what you call uh, easy to fix, uh, quick fix uh, strap. You can interchangeable, uh, which interchangeable you can change. Any, you can have a, a silicone strap like this or different colors. You can have um, even metal or leather, uh, and of course uh, some titanium uh, strap, which is very light. Okay, this one. Uh, when it was introduced, uh, uh, there was a, some upgrade on the, the functions, of course. Uh, one of the upgrade is that 
it has the training load feature. Let me just show you the bit. Uh, apart from more uh, activities you can record using this, there's a training load feature which is uh, here, which is uh, something new which uh, Phoenix 3 HR doesn't have. All right, all right, you can predict my. Uh, my uh, 5k running time okay, i never tried 5k anyway okay this is one of them uh, other than that it has uh it's compass and so on all right there's a difference so this one i will i, I, I wear this one for about three years now so the battery at that time uh, should last about 17 to 18 days versus about 12 days uh, for the 3hr which my own experience okay and another thing is that the screen is the same size, but the resolution is better. This one has uh, 218, 218 pixels per inch, and this one has uh, 240, 240. So the, the, the display is clearer, all right? Okay. Uh, some of the uh, activities you can have here include, uh, like, uh, let me just show you. you treadmill, you can indoor walk, you can measure your stress level and whatnot it's loves training strength training elliptical all right cardio uh, yoga even all right so these are the the things uh, the, the activity triathlon definitely jump master is for parachuting technical is for warfare or something skywatch is uh, an app which i include myself download from uh, the app store the government app store all right okay this is uh, okay so that's it. So now uh, let me turn to the latest model, the Garmin Phoenix 6, which I just purchased last week. Uh, this one uh, is the same size as the Phoenix 5, but you can see the screen is a bit bigger. Yeah, this, this the screen now is 1.3 inch, and the resolution is 100 and sorry, it's 260 um, a pixel. Okay, this one I bought for. Uh, 2000 ringgit slightly above I put online and the original price when it was first launched was 600 USD about 2800 Malaysian ringgit uh, this one is a uh, uh, very same uh, as this one about 600 USD about 2008 to 2009 all right so for Phoenix 6 uh, there are several improvements for Phoenix 6 it is an upgrade from the Phoenix 5 Plus. There's one model after the Phoenix 5 here, which was launched in 2018. So this one was launched in 2019. I bought this 2021. That's about two years difference. Okay. Some of the features which you'll find under this new model is the mini widgets. If you can see here, let me just show you a little bit. See? The, the widgets and the applications and the apps are arranged nicely all right it's very good you can see here you can show all my health statistics my heart beat my heart rate and whatnot uh, my average resting heart rate for the last one week you can see there all right uh, you can measure your this one is for what uh, I think it's stress level I think probably uh, okay, you can measure your body uh, battery, all right. Uh, it can measure your sleep on the spot. The the five series, you can still measure, but you have to connect to your phone to get the result, okay. Of course, you have to wear your watch when you are sleeping. As you can see here, last night, I did not sleep very long, only 4 hours and 27 minutes, all right. It says the quality is fair with a score of 62. Okay, short but restorative sleep. Okay, that's uh, uh, from 1 a.m. up to about 5.30 p.m. 5.30 a.m., sorry. That's where I have the awake when I was having my REM sleep and deep sleep and my light sleep. You can see the different colors there, right? And uh, that's, the, that's the, the duration for each category of sleep for myself. And it says here that even though you did not sleep long enough, your body recharged well. Okay, that's good here. Alright, that's the sleep function. It has a pulse oximeter. You can sh measure the oxygen level in your blood. Uh, like uh, now we use, we need this one to measure the blood. The oxygen of blood is actually to this COVID. 
times, right? You can measure calories and whatnot, steps of course, the training load, yeah, it's more organized here, I think. It's better, it has uh, better graphs, better readings and whatnot. All right. Uh, the intensity, you can see here. All right. Uh, for the week, intensity minutes. And they have, uh, it also has this uh, different time zone. I show London here, Washington DC, San Francisco and Mecca in Saudi Arabia. Uh, of course, this is, uh, okay, the VO2 max measurement. All right. The last activity, of course, you can measure from there. Uh, the sunrise, sunset it also has this one, which is very useful sometimes. Yeah. Uh, very useful. ABC, the altimeter, barometer, and the compass. You can see here, this is the barometer. This is the uh, altimeter, and this is the compass. You can see it changes direction. All right. Uh, that's good. And then uh, some notifications and so on. All right, and it has some music controls on for your handphone. If you link, it doesn't have. Okay, this is the base model. Uh, using, I, I'm not using uh, this one. Doesn't have Safari screen. This is using Gorilla Glass version three. All right, it's not as strong as the Safari screen, but at least it's okay. I think I haven't tried um, uh, trying Active Spot or yet. Okay, this is the the Kibla uh, Finder, all right? It shows the the time, uh, the direction of the Kibla in Mecca, all right? You can see there, and it also shows the the prayer time. Sorry, this this is the calculation time. Sorry, uh, this is how uh, next the next uh, prayer will be Fajr tomorrow morning, and these are the different times uh, for the other prayers. All right, this is it. Uh, this is the different widgets and so on, yeah, different time zone and whatever. Very good, right? Okay. Uh, other than that, uh, it has or oh, the most important thing I have to mention is that it has a uh, battery saver mode. So this the battery life here uh, on average is about fourteen days normal use smartwatch, but you can have the battery saving mode which can last up to forty eight days. There's a difference between this. 6 series and the, the old 5 series. This is much better. All right. Uh what else does it have? The 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 the, the general the wrist heart rate monitor is a third generation. It's more uh it's better. It's more efficient. It can measure your swimming while you're wearing it. But the old one cannot, okay? This one can. Okay, let me just show you a little bit about the uh the uh the, the activities it can measure. Uh, you can measure treadmill, cardio. This this one I chose. Uh, I purposely select. There are other ones here which I didn't have. Uh, you can hiking. You get strength training, elliptical. You got rowing. You got surfing. You got boating, expedition. You get jump master like previously I showed you earlier. Uh, I just show you the uh, yeah. The other thing is the number of metrics uh, fields you can show on one page is much more than uh, the Phoenix Five. Uh, this one can show. Uh, on one screen, five, sorry, six different options, six different fields, you see? Uh, let me just show you. Uh, you. You can see the heart rate on top, you got the aerobic training effect, and anaerobic training effect, the calories, and this, there's six different fields, all right? For example, let's just try uh, to switch now, just a mock uh, demonstration, right? You can show the time there. On the next screen, you can have other things, like heart rate zone, five, three, four, and so on and uh, other things. So it's quite, yeah, it's very uh, easier. It's much easier to have all the fields uh, on one page instead of uh, you have to screen, scroll down many pages. So quite very troublesome. I say, okay, I'm just uh, to throw away the, deleting that uh, particular activity because <clears throat> that was just a mock-up uh, training I'm trying to show you. Okay, for example, this uh, you can also have different uh, uh, watch faces like this one this is very good it has almost everything you can imagine all right uh, of course you can change them for example let's say you don't like the digital with all this uh, information you can change to other modes other uh, other screen uh, faces watch faces all right for example like that uh, you can have this uh, like this okay that's myself and my wife for example picture of us. I have the, uh, what do you call what is this? Uh, this is uh, 
uh, analog so many information and, uh, and so on so you can you can have all those hmm? okay, you can change that to um, it's very good okay I think the I think that's about it uh, I think I've covered most of the uh, features of the new Phoenix 6 and I mentioned also about the Phoenix 5 unfortunately for the 3HR uh, this one has uh, is broken already the battery uh, no longer working so that's why I, I, I cannot switch on this one okay uh, if you have any questions uh, do let me know uh, down uh, below uh, and thank you for watching my video uh, assalamualaikum and see you again bye bye